I am 16 going on wow. 17. Um, Sarah picked up from work because she took the puppy to the vet. Have you introed today? I have not. Oh, so it Evelyn. Was such an eventful day. It was, and look at how bright it is. Look, there's the sun. We got out to the parks early today. Um, but Eve, Sarah had the car, so she had to come pick me up. Mm -hmm. And she brought Eve to the, a, a new vet to get a second opinion, and basically said our first vet was kind of crazy. Not that it was kind of crazy, but it was just a little bit extreme to say she needed surgery first thing. My little sister put it really well. When you get strep throat for the very first time, they don't take out your tonsils. You have to have strep, have it again, have it again. So, it was kind of like a preventative surgery that just isn't necessary for a one-year-old puppy. Yeah, so we're gonna, we have a game plan with this vet. We're gonna take her off the antibiotics, see how she is, because it cleared up a lot, but not fully. We're gonna see if it does it naturally. If it doesn't and there's discomfort and it flares, we're gonna do this flush and not the actual surgery and see if that works and then the surgery. So it's like we got options. But really, he said that sur like, surgery really won't happen. I mean, obviously there's always, you never say never, but really it should be, we should be fine from here on out. Parked at the boardwalk because we're going to the arcade tonight. Thank you, y'all. Great day. Thank you. We're going into Epcot with some flower and garden and. It does not happen. It's before six, so we were able to sneak up here really quick. And enjoy and bask in some of the greatness. There's another vlogger over there. I'm not sure who they are, but they're vloggers. Sarah's got a pop. I'm a vlogger. I'm a vlogger. Everybody's vloggers. I got my strawberry cream soda. I got my strip And I got my coffee. Ooh, I got that baked Lay's. This is my go-to ever since I gave up Cheez-Its because dopey challenge. Sarah's trying to hide her Chips Ahoy! I usually get a... Chips Ahoy. No, a granola bar. She usually gets Chips Ahoy. Usually get a granola bar. She usually gets granola. Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy! Usually get a Where extra Miranda sings like because Miranda sings is... is... is Colleen Ballinger and Colleen ba Ballinger's brother is Christopher Ballinger and Christopher Ballinger is married to Jessica Ballinger and they've got four children nice. and they're all here. They're our in favorite YouTubers Florida. and they're here. They're the motivation that knows, that tells me that we can daily vlog when we have children. If we meet them. So if you're watching this Ballinger family, you guys are the best. Thanks for doing what you do. Okay, here's our popcorn. Still don't have the sour cream and chive. But are we gonna get the buffalo? Yeah. Okay. We were successful. We did it. They did not have the sour cream and chive like we said, but we're trying the, the blue cheese buffalo. buffalo. It's really good, it's got good flavor, but it's not as crunchy as normal popcorn because it's got like the flavoring on it. Uh huh. Totally and the blue cheese is subtle. Like we just said yesterday, we're not crazy about blue cheese, so we're always a little iffy, but it's good. Super good. That is really good. If you're here before the festival is over, they have this Imagination Playground. I don't know if we've shown this. It's that, comfy seats, this like musical area, tables with checkers. Oh my gosh. Nothing like a girl, her ears, and her popcorn in World Showcase. <laughs> She's just feeling it. Feel good. I'm gonna throw Sarah under the bus, and if you are on Instagram or Facebook, you already know what I'm gonna talk about. Wait, look at you can see the scratch. Ah. Sarah, also a spot. Sarah picked it from work, so she brought like clothes for me to change anew. She thought it was gonna be cooler. She's in jeans. Jeans. And she got 
my thick long sleeve. I'm beginning to struggle because it's like 90 degrees out. But there's a nice cool breeze. 90. Trying to get through it. But in all honesty, this, you, I cannot physically capture how beautiful World Showcase looks right now. Beautiful. 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 Beautiful sounding birds, beautiful looking people, beautiful looking wife, beautiful looking everything, planet Earth. Ducks. Beautiful looking ducks. Can it, does it look better with the sunglasses on? Ooh. Beautiful still. Take that scratch on the lens in the sun. To the UK Pavilion, and I'm gonna be honest, and I want to say I forgot this was here, and I don't think I've looked at this in about six years. But it's super cool. One thing I know I've seen this before; it's just been a long time, but I don't think I've ever seen this little chicken tea party right there. This little chicken tea party I've never seen before. Look at this chicken tea party. Have you ever seen that before? No. Isn't that super cute? The birds. Birds? Bird, 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 bird. Do you want to take a break? Sure. Yes, this is what we were hoping for over by um, the center area, the main fountain, the little toy area. There were all those comfy looking chairs, but none of them were open. Test track is closed at 6.30 tonight. It's 7.11 right now. And I think it's because of wedding or a special event. I'm not sure why, but there's all the people. Ooh, birds. There's all the, uh, the cast members saying, don't come near, we're closed. But there's tables over there. I'm curious to see what's gonna end up happening. We were too slow. Literally, we there's six chairs in there that were just empty. And in the, the process of walking in and walking in, six people walked in and took all the chairs. So, but it's time for our Soren Fast Pass, so we'll just go there. Uh, I just hate when I have a fast pass Soren. This was, for a brief moment in history, super scary and sad. But I see people in it and they're leaving through the other door. It's just closed, this door. I got super scared because I got really excited because I was like, oh, we can stop by and grab Beverly. We haven't had Beverly in like a couple weeks. And I could go for some of my Beverly. I want a Beverly float. And I think you can get those at Disney Springs. I think you can too. Take that, you broken door across the way. From getting the Beverly's. Ooh. Disco time. Oh my god, this never happens. This is a prime location one. And it is ready. We got some Beverly up in here. This is where I hang out on the weekends. It's not even the weekend. It's uh, what do they say? What do the kids say in college? It's thirsty thirst. <laughs> Hitting up that Beverly stand. Fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times. Yeah. I dropped some hot points. So we're the tower. We are ready for takeoff. Biggest piece of advice to Soren is waiting for like Peter likes the middle middle section. I prefer the top middle section, but the feet the feet have actually not been so bad to me. So I would say middle middle is cool. But we didn't wait for anything today. <laughs> and we got the worst spot. I think it's at least good. 
Yes. I would say worse because <laughs> there's not a bad seat in there because it's Soren. But we but like, from the bottom all the way to the left. I was just watching the girl on the computer <laughs> running the machine the whole time. Yeah. So but bottom on the left. The yeah. The animals, but the thing really is good. like the the screen you could see the whole edge of it, like the whole bottom curvature, which kinda I feel like if you're in the middle, middle, or the middle top, like you don't see the side of the screen. Right, right. and it's like the it's least worse. warped. So that's our bit of advice today: is you can always ask to wait another round so that you get. Did you get banned? Mm -hmm. You won't get Game number one, Pirates of the Caribbean Pinball. Sarah's taking this one. You got it? Ooh. Save some and not use it all today. Yeah, Big and we'll side. do like a little, like maybe we'll do a moderate resort and then maybe a value resort and see what one we think is the best. This one was good. It was just busy. This is my beach. Just a humble beach. We're gonna relax before we go home. I gotta record a podcast because I'm down to busy with you. Okay, we're back at the boardwalk because we're about to go home because I got to record a podcast. But they're doing some crazy stuff out here. Now, look at this. They got like light up nighttime bean bags. That's awesome. We got a bunch of hula hoops. And the weirdest, most impressive, and weirdest thing I've ever seen they have Mario Kart. You can play Mario Kart on this blow up screen. Look at this. Yeah, they got Nintendo Switches going. What? I've never seen or heard of that before. And this guy's got a pizza. I'm gonna go jump him for it. Give me your za. Did you hear me bust my toe? I did. Sarah's busted her toes approximately four times tonight. Is it the shoes or are you just tired? Oh. <laughs> you're just having an off day. It's okay if you are. We'll go home and get comfies on and just hang out with Eve. You know what this shot means right here. I'm just joking. We're not going to bed yet. Right, we came home earlier than usual. Look at this puppy. Since Sarah picked me up straight from work, I didn't get to see her between the work and going out, so I missed her. And she missed me. Um, I'm going to go record the podcast with Dom. He's waiting for me. I just got to get um, a charger to plug my phone in because we FaceTime while we record two different audio files. And I'm gonna, uh, I think we're recording a podcast about Universal since we finally like went to experience the actual park. So if you didn't know, I have a podcast with my buddy Dom, Park Hopper Podcast. You can find it on the Google Play Store, iTunes, Podbean. Just Google it. Go to our website, thebrookhopperproject.com. You'll see stuff there everywhere. Test, test, test. One, two, one, two. Chicago is better than Detroit. I'm ready when you are Dominic the donkey. Got done recording the podcast. It's gonna take a little bit to edit because me and Dom at least have like a little over an hour, I think, of raw audio. Um, 
Dom's been waiting for us to go to Universal for eight months now, so he was super excited to have this podcast to discuss like our opinions of rides, comparing them to what we thought, compared to what we felt, compared to a few of them to Disney or to other theme parks like Six Flags or Sea World and Busch Gardens. So it was a lot of fun to listen to that. I can't wait to, for that to post on Sunday morning. Um, so definitely check out our podcast if you're interested in hearing that. It's going to be close to an hour, even after I edited it up. But Sarah's not with the sign off because she was having a little bit of an allergic reaction to eat, so she's getting ready for bed. Um, I look crazy. She's got a little swollen eyes and stuff like that. And she does that. She doesn't want to be on the camera, which I think she's ridiculous. She looks beautiful no matter what, but. Um, it's so generic. It is generic, but it's the truth, so. Money. But we had a lot of fun going back to Epcot. Tomorrow's Friday. Let us know where we should go if we should do Fantasmic Friday. We already did that on Monday, so I don't know if we'll do Fantasmic, but let us know down below. What we, what park we're, or thing we should go do, and uh, we had a handful of uh, suggestions the other day, so maybe we'll look at those too. Yeah, we'll look at those suggestions. And I know that we have to plan out what we're doing this weekend, tomorrow and Saturday, because Sunday is the anniversary, the twentieth anniversary of Animal Kingdom. So we'll probably end up going there Sunday morning to get all that fun stuff done. But we'll figure it out. Thanks for following along. It's, it's good to be good home. To be we know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.